Hey guys, it's Tech Genie back again with another video. Today we're bringing you a review of the iPhone SE. It's going to be a review slash comparison with the iPhone 5S. So if you're interested, uh, smash that like button down there and let's see if we can get 15 likes on this video. That would be awesome. Also, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. So let's get straight into this review. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to mention, obviously, about the SE is it's basically the same as the 5S in terms of looks, design, and feel of the thing. Um, the main difference is, is what is going on inside the phone, and we're going to talk about that in a little minute. Um, but for now, let's just talk about what the design looks like. So the main different feature, or well, the only different feature I can actually see between the 5S and the SE is that the chamfered edges around the 5S are polished and around the SE they are matte. Now this provides a very different kind of look for the SE. I haven't got used to it yet, I do kind of prefer the 5S chamfered shiny. But, so that's the only difference in terms of look and feel. Um, so let's move on around the phone and just talk about the basics what are on it. So you've got two speakers at the bottom like the 5S, you've got the lightning connector and the headphone slot at the bottom so you can put your headphones in and put it in your pocket and you don't have any problem about the leads bending. So that is great that they've kept that. On the uh, right hand side of the phone you've got the SIM card slot. Top right you've got the power button, sleep, wake button. Left side you've got the notification slider and then you've got the volume rockers and that's literally it on the phone same for all the iPhones now obviously because this is the same as the 5S shell we do have the power button at the top and it's not being moved down to the side like it has on the 6 and 6S or 6S plus so just moving around to the back the only difference on the back is a the camera but that's more internals and b it's got an SE logo on the back as well okay so if we talk about the main feature that I found the biggest stark difference between the 5S and the SE in fact there's two of them the first one is the thumbprint scanner now I've been using this uh, just been trying it out and the thumbprint scanner on the 5s is good but because it was the first phone they brought out with the thumbprint scanner it is by no means brilliant I often find if I'm trying to quickly get into the phone and I just want to unlock it pressing my thumb down often it says try again and I have to do it two or three times or you have to press your thumb down quite heavily on the thumbprint scanner for it for it to actually recognize your thumb whereas with the SE as soon as you put your thumb on there to turn the screen on it will unlock the phone the speed difference is insane on the right hand side we have the SE unlocking and on the left hand side we have the iPhone 5s and you can see all I do I'm pressing the buttons at the same time trying to show you as best I can pressing them at the same time and you can actually see that the 5s takes quite a while to actually register your fingers there and I have to sometimes just retry again so the SE has an awesome fingerprint scanner at the front so that's a great bonus if that's what you wanted on your phone now moving around to the back we have the camera the camera I think is the biggest upgrade so far on this phone. So on the SE we have a 12 megapixel camera that can shoot 4K footage and it can also take live photos. We'll talk about that in a second though. Now the 4K footage I'm going to try and put some uh, examples in now and some comparisons with the 5S. The 4K shoots 30 FPS or you can shoot 1080p at 60 FPS. You can shoot 720p in slow motion at 240 FPS and 1080p 120 FPS and that's on the iPhone SE. So there's some pretty good quality going on in there. I don't know if I have any examples of slow mo and 720 but I'll put up, put up what I can and I'll label it for you. On there. I think the camera completely blows the 5S out of the water. Now this is the same camera that is inside the iPhone 6S Plus or 6S. I think it's exactly the same camera, hence why it is such good quality. You can go into settings and change it to shoot only in 1080p, so that is actually really good if you're not really interested in getting super high quality footage. Obviously with the iPhone cameras, they seem to do colours and everything really well. Now this has quite good depth of field. I'm not sure what its aperture is, but it has got pretty good depth of field you can see in the videos and its autofocus is quite quick. It seems to be uh, you can focus quicker in the SE than you can in the 5S as well while taking video. Okay so moving on to just the actual general use and feel of the phone. Now when obviously you're using the phone you're going to be using it for texts, surfing the web and phone calls and playing on games and stuff like that. Now the main difference I've noticed obviously is the SE is faster. It's got an Apple A9 chip inside of it so it's obviously going to perform a lot better than the 5S. Now what does this basically mean? Well, opening and closing apps is quicker, surfing the web, going between web pages and things like that are quicker. So just general experience of using it is a lot quicker. And this is obviously in comparison to the 5S. Now in terms of comparing the SE to an iPhone 6S or 6, it's going to perform pretty similar because it's got the same sort of stuff going on inside it. It's just in a smaller case. I haven't actually put them up head to head so I can't give you fully exactly what that is but I, I imagine it's going to be pretty quick. I have actually tried them in the Apple Store 
and they seem to be pretty similar, but I haven't tested it in depth. So that's basically kind of what I take from looking at the camera and the button and all of that. Okay, so obviously you are going to have to use a slightly different screen to what you were used to on the iPhone 6 and 6S. Now, obviously, because the uh, 6S Plus is five and a half inch screen, you are now dropping down to four inch. You are now dropping down to, I'm talking about dropping, I just threw this on the floor. Um, yeah, it's now a four inch screen. So if you're not used to using a four inch screen, I personally use a Samsung Galaxy S2. It's an ancient phone, I know. Um, and even moving down from that, that's 4.3 inches to four inches is a little bit strange. So if you're moving down from five and a half inches to four inches, you're probably not gonna have a nice experience using this phone. Um, I haven't tested the battery life massively, but so far it seems to be holding up like any iPhone would. Um, it's obviously using a lot of that stuff running in the background, but there obviously is battery saver in iOS 9. Okay, so one thing we still haven't seen on the front-facing camera's 1080p FaceTime. It is now, it's shooting at 720p at 1.2 megapixel FaceTime camera. Um, it is better than the FaceTime camera on the 5S, but it's still not magnificent. You can only shoot 720p video. Um, so for FaceTimes, it's all right, it's not the best. Uh, now, I did mention earlier about live photos. Now, you may be thinking live photos needs force touch technology, and you are right, on the iPhone 6S it does. However, on the iPhone SE it does not. All you do is you just sort of press and hold on the picture and it will play a live photo. Um, it's not the best, it seems to be a bit jittery and slow, and I don't see much point in doing it, but it's kind of nice if you wanna set it as your lock screen. I think that's pretty much it in terms of the phone and how it all performs. We've had it for a week or two now and been testing it, and it seems to be working really nicely and smoothly. Um, and it's a definitely, you can definitely see the in performance improvement from the 5S to the SE. So if you were thinking just because it's the same shell, it's gonna perform the same, that is totally wrong. Everything inside of it is a lot better, and it is a major up upgrade. It's basically, if you just wanted the iPhone 6S, but you wanted it in the small shell, this is perfect. But I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope, uh, tried to do as much as I could on the footage. It's taken me three days to film this, so that's why it hasn't been up on a Saturday. It's probably Monday now that you're watching this. Um, and it's taken me a long time to do this, so really help if you could support this and smash that like button and subscribe as well. And leave any comments down below of any videos you want to see. I will see you in the next video, guys. Live long and prosper.